In today's video, we're gonna talk about affirmations and how they can help you, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Stephanie Redman, I'm a certified professional life coach. Before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about affirmations. What are they? Why do they work? And how can they help you? So what is an affirmation? An affirmation is essentially a declaration of a desire. It's essentially a seed for manifestation. So when planted and watered with attention, it eventually has the power to blossom and bloom into actual reality. A lot of people underestimate the power of thought and the power of language, but the brain is extremely fascinating. And the way that certain thoughts and words and language affect the brain can make a huge impact. So with an affirmation, you're essentially acknowledging the power of certain words. And when you speak and you choose your language consciously, it literally has the power to transform your life. One of my favorite books called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz talks about the importance of being impeccable with your words. He goes on to talk about how words have power and how they can bring healing, transformation, and joy to the listener. So in the case of an affirmation, the listener is you. And by using positive affirmations, you're reminding yourself of the wholeness and unlimited power and potential that lies within you. Another book that I highly recommend that actually changed my life, well, every book that I read changes my life one way or another, but this is a great book and I really recommend it to you guys, is As a Man Thinketh. It's a short read, but it's so powerful. He essentially talks about how your thoughts create your reality. Negative thoughts create a negative reality. Positive thoughts create a positive reality. I dealt with a lot of self-esteem issues growing up and I noticed that a lot of my clients deal with self-esteem issues. It's a very common thing. It's not something we talk about openly, but it is very common. So one of the first things that I tell my clients is to use affirmations. Now the key with using affirmations is to keep your affirmations short. So basically the science behind affirmations is when you use an affirmation on a regular basis, you're creating a neural pathway in your brain. And essentially the way the brain works is the more you use repetition with that pathway, the more it's ingrained into your mind. You can think about it like an overgrown field that's in front of a house, right? So the first time you drive a pickup truck down this field, it's gonna be super bumpy, super difficult to get through. But the second time you go down that path, it's gonna get a little bit easier. Same thing with the third, the fourth, the fifth. Eventually, you're gonna have a smooth path that gets you down to that house. It's the same way it works in your mind. Our minds are geared in the negative, so it's so easy if you let your mind go on autopilot. You're gonna be constantly focusing on the negative. It's normal. So it does take conscious effort, intention, and decisive action in order to create these positive neural pathways. But eventually, it will become normal and natural for you. All right, so let's talk about the structure of an affirmation. So affirmations are very clear and direct declarative statements. You wanna avoid uncertain terminology, you wanna avoid being overly wordy, and you wanna avoid any kind of wishy-washy terms, all right? An affirmation is designed to define the way you wish things to be with confidence and authority. In a lot of cases, affirmations are I am statements, or they begin with the words I am. When you begin a statement with I am, you're sending a signal to your subconscious mind, almost like a definition of what is. So with each I am statement, your mind is actually gonna start to subconsciously look for evidence to confirm that belief. And this is gonna happen whether it's true or not. So any words that you place after these I am statements really need to be chosen with mindfulness and care. Affirmations are also written and spoken in present tense. Don't get this confused. Affirmations are not about what you want to happen in the future or in an unspecified amount of time. Affirmations are stated as if they are already true and happening in the here and now. Believe it or not, your subconscious mind does not operate in the future. So for example, making the statement, I am enjoying the job and career of my dreams is so much more powerful than saying, I will attain the career and job of my dreams. I am versus I will. Stick with I am. Another thing to keep in mind is that affirmations are spoken in positive language, not negative. Your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between positive words and negative words. Therefore, affirm what you want versus what you don't want. Think about it, when you say, I don't want to fail, your mind 
doesn't really pay attention to the word don't. It just notices the word fail. So now your mind is aware of fail, failing. That's not good, you don't want that. So instead you would say, I am successful. Successful versus fail or failure. Remember, stick to the positive. So another example is, instead of saying, I don't wanna get sick, instead say the statement, I am healthy and strong. I am healthy and strong. Same thing with, I don't wanna fail this test or I won't fail this test. Instead, what you really wanna say is, I'm gonna pass with flying colors or I see myself passing with flying colors. Now, another thing to consider is that affirmations with emotional leverage have more power. Focus on the why of what you wish to accomplish. The key here is trying to generate that feeling within. The more you can create that feeling or state that you actually want, the more real it's gonna to become to your mind. And in turn, the more power it's going to have on actually transforming your reality. Also, the deeper you can feel, the deeper the neural pathway is gonna be actually formed in your brain. All right, so let's talk about some affirmation examples. So here are some positive present state affirmations that you can actually take and use for yourself. I am happy, healthy, and strong. I have deep and fulfilling relationships. I attract abundance and prosperity in all forms. I enjoy my work and I'm fulfilling my life's purpose. I appreciate and love myself just the way I am. I am compassionate and forgiving. I release all beliefs that prevent me from expressing my highest self. Okay, so how and when do you use affirmations? Well, realistically, you're probably using affirmations right now, but you're not even realizing that you're using affirmations. They usually happen unconsciously until you make the effort. The best way though to use affirmations is to create a conscious and intentional effort behind each and every statement. So you wanna start by crafting some affirmations that you're very passionate about. You can write as many affirmations as you want, but you might wanna start off with seven to 10 in the beginning just to keep it manageable for your subconscious mind. So the next thing you wanna do is pick a dedicated time to say these affirmations. I recommend saying them early in the morning, right when you wake up. You're starting your day off on the right foot when you start off with affirmations and it's a really powerful tool. If you can't do them in the morning, any time is better than not at all. If you really wanna double up the benefit, I recommend doing your affirmations in the morning and then right before you go to bed. If you do it in the morning, like I said, it sets the stage for your whole day. And if you do it right before bed, that actually gets processed while you're sleeping and it helps to ingrain it deeper into your mind. You can also do affirmations after you spend some time meditating if you like to meditate. No matter what time you choose to do it, making sure you pick a consistent time and that you make sure that you do it every single day is crucial here. Another thing I recommend is to say these affirmations in front of a mirror while you're looking yourself in the eye and you're smiling. You say it with conviction, you say it with confidence, and you say it with passion. In this case, you're gonna have to fake it till you make it if you don't believe these things. Eventually, you will start to believe them. I'm telling you from experience, affirmations changed my life about 10 years ago, and I honestly recommend them so much. Also, another thing that helped me was to brush my hair, make you know, put on makeup, get dressed, while I'm saying these things. I wanna present myself in a very confident state and it does a lot to the subconscious mind if you actually make the intention to take care of yourself while you're saying these statements. So you always wanna start off by acknowledging the fact that words have power. And when you say these affirmations, you're essentially scripting the way that you want your life to be. You also wanna make sure that you're saying these affirmations with intention, with confidence. You really wanna avoid saying them in a very monotone way and just to say it. Also, you wanna conclude your affirmations with a couple of minutes of just silence and try to generate a sense of peace and gratitude into your body. Try to feel the happiness, the excitement, and the gratitude and other positive emotions of seeing these affirmations being fulfilled. You become the story that you tell yourself. And through affirmations, creative power lies in your hands. Speak with truth and watch your life transform. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to start doing some affirmations and what you think some good affirmations for you will be. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my self-love and care skills video. If you like this video, I think you're really going to like that video. And stay tuned for next week's video. We're going to talk about self-awareness. So stay tuned for that video. 
Once again, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.